Best day ever. Hey there, welcome to Best Day Ever. It's this day in history through the prism of me, your host, James Parker. Oh, thank you. I'm here to tell you why today, March 4th, is the best day in the history of ever. It was on this day in 1791. The first Jewish member of Congress takes office. His name, tell me how Jewish this is. His name is Israel Jacobs, which is like a double name because in in Genesis, Jacob takes the name Israel. So he's Israel Jacobs. It's it's both of the same dude. Is that like when, uh, when we name our kids Christian over here in the Christian world? Best day ever. It was on this day in 1793, Washington's second inauguration, which is the shortest speech of any inauguration speech, 133 words. Wouldn't that be a gift if we had that today? 133 word speech? Please. Eric Bushman could play the whole thing in his next newscast. But yeah, this used to be when inaugurations happened was around March 4th, not January 20, whatever it is now. It was on this day in 1801. Uh, the first president was inaugurated in Washington, D.C. I guess that would make it Thomas Jefferson. It was on this day in 1809. James Madison becomes the first president inaugurated in American made clothes. Best day ever. I guess they ran around in buckskin before that, or I got this shirt in Paris. It was on this day in 1837, Chicago becomes incorporated as a city. Happy birthday, Chicago. Actually, this would be a better happy birthday. It was on this day in 1841, the longest inauguration speech. Uh, William Henry Harrison wouldn't shut up for 8,443 words. Okay, that's kind of a lot. That's like a a billion, million, 400 trillion, 600 billion dollars. Best day ever it was on this day march 4th 18 or i'm sorry 1924 happy birthday to you was published by clayton sunny pay attention you're going to get a trivial pursuit pie piece because of that clayton sunny is the uh happy birthday writer and that's not the official birthday song of the james show the official birthday song of the james show is the two live crew version just letting you know how old i am it's your birthday. birthday. It's your birthday. Birthday. Much better. It's your birthday. Best. Much better than the old version. Ever. It was on this day, 1925, Calvin Coolidge took the oath of office in Washington, D.C. And this was the first time the presidential inauguration was broadcast on radio. Oh. And it was on this day, 1966, John Lennon says, We are more popular than Jesus. I think Jesus had the last laugh on that, dude. It was on this day in 1985. Uh, the EPA bans leaded gasoline. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Less lead poisoning. And it was on this day in history, March 4th, 2005. Billionaire mogul Martha Stewart finally released from federal prison after serving five months for sale of a stock that, come on, it's Martha Stewart. Best day ever.